Oh, good morning. Welcome to Web Wars. This is where we discuss what has broken social media, the wars that have been happening all over social media. And I don't do it alone because it would be boring to do it alone. Now I have fantastic two women with me. They are gurus at what they do. And when I say they are gurus, they're really good at what they do. Faiza Hamed is back with us, editor hey. at Zoomi and also YouTube star. Balek on YouTube. <laughs> uh, you're rattling a couple of feathers on YouTube with your uh, videos. Am I really? Mm -hmm. I don't know. <laughs> ah, look at you playing humble. Momi Mutoka is back with us. Digital journalist, fantastic. One of the biggest blogs here in Kenya. Hello. How are you? I'm good. How are you? Um, we're surviving. Uh -huh. in the with luminous green. <laughs> <laughs> I like your, your, your... It's called neon nowadays. Oh, neon. Mm. Neon. Oh, it's neon green. Uh, Educate me. <laughs> the man with no style. I have to do that after the man with money. I have to do the man with no style. All right, let's get into it. What people have been talking about because social media timelines this week were lit with banter between Tanzania and Kenya taking to center stage as everyone anticipated the biggest game this week at the Africa Cup of Nations. That was Kenya versus Tanzania. This battle was not about to be settled on the timeline like you see over there because it was taken to the field and everyone who had made a meme like Droid over there had to wait with bated breath <laughs> so we can beat Tanzania. And in a thrilling match yesterday, we thrashed them 3-0 thanks to Michael Olunga's uh, winning strike. The timeline is on fire because Tanzanians are being put back in their place. Uh, there is Eric Johanna, fantastic player. Yes, look at this. Some of our favorite memes. <laughs> look at that. That is how Tanzania was trying to uh, choke us. Yeah. But, mm-hmm. <laughs> and doing know that to us. Look at that, look at that. <laughs> that is how Kenya did to when Tanzania in the last minute. 79th minute, we won the game. Uh -huh. Guys, uh -huh. I know you, you two are not big football fans, but you must have been watching this. I watched yeah. it last night. You did? Yeah, I watched it last uh -huh. night. And I was so nervous at the same, uh, at the same time. I was like, you know something? Mm. Has Tanzania ever defeated Kenya in anything? Mm. Just population, probably. That's <laughs> also my question. Because... <laughs> yeah. I, I would really love to, everybody, like, you know, for men, we talk about football. I'd like to know, Faiza, what did you think about the game? What did you think about the, did you watch the game? What I did, did you not, think about the banter? I did, not, I did not watch the game, but when it comes to TZ, as in, no hate, but just stick to Tetema and all that, like. They should stick that's, to? That, that's just Tetema your way through life and <laughs> stick to that. Yeah. <laughs> well, let me tell you, the timeline has been lit. You've seen the memes. Uh, we've run a couple of them on... on, uh, on, on <laughs> the, the, the funny... That's the, the, the one, uh, the wrestling one, the WWE one. That was the funny yes, this one. Yes, is, this is, uh, this is uh, the <laughs> second goal, I believe. Look at that. A bicycle kick, man. Michael Olunga with... That, that goal was fantastic. And... And, and guys, guys, we can we can roll uh, some of the tweets. Uh, if if uh, let's see some of them again. There's that tweet by Droid over there who uh, represents. Yes, mm. uh, th there's a uh, the Kenyan team. Uh, your team literally qualified because another team was disqualified. Selewi moto up with Jasiri wakuliza hiswali. Droid and Ali asked uh, how Tanzania qualified because on their first game they played really bad. And yesterday after they won the game, they had to respond. Everybody went on Tanzania's case. And there you have it. Even the Kenyan national team players were trolling Tanzanians. Uh, this has to be my favorite, guys. <laughs> this has to be my favorite. This has to be my favorite. All right. Uh, they thought they were going to. And first of all, can you talk about the fact that Kenyans are even trying to speak Kiswahili Sani for this one? Imagine. <laughs> <laughs> I've seen Red saying something about Jasiri. I'm like, oh, 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 oh. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Eh? But so you guys know, to, if, if, we, if we go at the Sohili battle with Tanzania, we're never going to win. Uh, true. I think so, so let's wait, wait, wait. I think we're going to. We're going to? If you have such people on your team, you oh, are going to. Oh, Faiza, you're going to help us. Yeah. But just, just we are, we are. Post and then we can teach you a few things. We are outnumbered. Mm, comes, what, <laughs> no? Unless you, put, you pull an Arya stack for us. Ah. <sighs> <laughs> well, you see about that. Okay, let's move on to another story because Tarehe MP Charles Njagua was the week's most talked about person after uttering reckless comments about deportation of foreign nationals at a political rally, which got him in trouble with authorities afterwards, leading to his arrest. Now social media had its say, and as soon as news hit Tanzanian blogs, well, Jagua Ali Rostiwa, and uh, the man was roasted by both Tanzanians and Kenyans. There you have it. Can we pause on that for a moment? Because that, that was the best tweet from this, uh, from this one. Uh, this was a video, this was a video where 
uh, some of the MPs were tear gas were try were tear gassed while trying <laughs> while trying to defend Jaguar and Walikula tear gas Kabisa and Edwin Sifuda trolled uh, Nani uh, Moses Kuria who mm -hmm. said that a revolution is coming because of what they were tear gas no. and this is what Edwin Sifuda had to say. Can we see that again? <laughs> This was this was my definitely my favorite. Yes, the here it is. Ati unakula tia gas nususa. Uh unakula tia gas nususa unanza kulusa revolution. Na ukikula weekly for a year kama wengine wetu sisi si utanusa second coming. Mommy go first. Oh my goodness. First of all, you know the most hilarious thing about this it's it's apart from the political bit of it and them being on opposite camps. Now it's curious time to know when or what Orengo was saying when he said, until your day comes, you'll think that they are on your side. But then, do them wrong. What was cool at was, was that on Monday? Yeah, that was no. some, a Tuesday. Okay, so that, that was their much was the Tuesday. So, <laughs> Moses Kuria, over to you. That is, even though you want to you want to ski, you want to Faiza, Faiza. Miss Jai kula tia gas. So, nataka next time, okay, na kula matia gas, nususata, mean kwa hapo ni kula tia gas. Kula tia gas kidogo? Yeah, that's the only thing I can say. Trust me, you don't want to. Last week, two weeks ago. She didn't go to Nairobi. Yeah, you didn't go to UN. Clearly, you didn't go to UN. What is that? Okay, okay. I was in Dandora two weeks ago. Na kula tia gas, my friend, it's not pretty. You do not want to be in that mix, by the way. Now let's go to another story because and I think we should have a segment called Keeping Up with Sonko because he has now become a regular uh, on Web Wars and this time he did not start it. Machako's governor, Alfred Mutua, did. After photos depicting the dilapidated state of Tom Boyer's statue went viral uh, here in the CBD. Those are the photos there. He tweeted them. He came all the way to the city and offered to personally maintain the statue. Now, photos, these photos went viral on Twitter because uh, he offered to maintain it. Unona hapo tu alikuja na kihia hia pale kusema ata maintain yo kitu. But Sonko responded in the most Sonko way. You know what he did next? He went all the way to Machakos. And he did a rally over there. He even went with those Izomagareza Sonko rescue team. Okay, and Uko, he endorsed another candidate against Mutua and he kuna wasi waliko meshikona kanja uko machakos, akaenda akawatoa, ndowe hapo, there you have it, Sonko, uh, addressing a crowd in Machakos County. Man, people never learn. Do not go at Sonko if you're not ready. Mumbi. Let me let me tell you something. This is the best clap back. Actually, we should stand up and give Sonko an applause because this is how you shut somebody down. And I'm not saying our governor is the best governor, mm -hmm. but also coming from uh, Machakos region, let me tell you something. The sewage in Machakos. M Mutua knows what I'm saying. Mm -hmm. You know, and people know what I'm saying. So he's not the best person to be talking about. Oh, Nairobi is dirty. His his county is dirty. I mean. And you know, mm -mm, the, the, the situation here is the pot calling the kettle black. Kihere here. Or kihere here. what did you make of this? Sonko, kwa sababu <laughs> also him, he has his own issues, but he chooses most of the time to just attack other people. You mm. know, to make himself feel better about his shortcomings, which is... Tunakuona by the way, tunakuona. We like, see we see you, we see right through you. <laughs> like, hakuna vile unatudanganya by the way. Like, in, I, I think this was very unnecessary by the way. And people were telling Mutua, this is, of all the hills you choose to die on this one, Tomboya, statue, <laughs> really, man. And let, me, and let me tell you something. Mm. The worst thing about this rally that Tsongko had, and mm. because you cannot show it on telly, and if you want to see it, just go on Facebook, on his Facebook, and mm. watch what mm. uh, the MPs were saying. Yeah. Mm. I was like, it's, oh, it's nasty. This oh. this really spiraled over. Pale Facebook, kame tamba vizuri. Lakini we have to move on to the next story because kuna kitu ingine na tamba pale YouTube. The biggest conversation this week on the entertainment scene has been about Ethic, who have released a new song. I see Mumbi is already uh, rolling her eyes. So let well, 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 Ethic broke YouTube. Not checking umse apo ati. Hello, fire department, fire department. Ni Ethic tena. Okay. <laughs> this guy is broke YouTube. 
until Diamond rained on their parade two days ago with releasing his song. Now they have gone back to number two trending on YouTube. Mm -hmm. uh, let's read some of the fantastic comments. Uh, if you translate Wasafi music to Sheng, you will have what Ethica singing. That was in response to people saying that Ethica on a content. Uh, somebody else, Kwasi John said, we party to Banda Boys, Pigeon, we party to Caspers, Hossa, we party to Fali Pupas, Lingala, we party to Diamonds. So really suddenly we have a problem with ethics Sheng. Guys, real quick, Pfizer. Uh, may I just think I'll be bumping to ethic all over the place because I know my kids will be bumping to ethic. I'm from the ESA period, way, way back. That is over. This is a new generation. Just go with the flow. Don't complain. Mumbi, uh, I see you rolling your eyes. Kenyan, Kenyan street music is the new wave. I love that. Let's not compare them to Saudi Soul. Yep. They're doing amazing. The street music is, it, it's a bop. It's mm, a bop. It's a bop by the it's, and this it's song bop. is 864,000 views by this way it's less than seven days ago that's when it was released nice. it's really? it's really breaking youtube uh, like in your song your diamond your kujapo your kanyaga like in here uh, our people our people are winning definitely pilot on youtube now it's time to share our favorite moments uh, in terms of videos from the web we're just gonna play them so let's start with faiza's and then she will tell us about it <laughs> here's faiza's video <laughs> Sinibo, kiongozi wa prokopane ni kiongozi kweli. Kiongozi ni ule anatafuta maende. Sisi tunafanya na kiongozi ambaye aenezi prokopanda. Sinibo, kiongozi wa <laughs> Our people from the Western. Oh, well, I just need her level of confidence when you don't know how to pronounce words, but you still say it and repeat time. And what? I was like, what? This is exactly what we need. <laughs> this is me applying for a job of not qualified. Yeah, I just for. need. I need her to share some of her confidence, cause oh. hey. Okay, here is Mumbi's favorite video, and this is what Kenya did to Tanzania. <laughs> That was the funniest video for me. Ah. Well, well, well. After the game, yes, that was fantastic. By the way, I saw the commercial give up after about your consuming your customer. Eh, by the game in 90. So, <laughs> Well, the last video also about Tanzania and uh, Kenya, the game. Hey, hey, whatever. This is really funny, guys. Just watch it. <laughs> That video always cracks me up. And th this, this, this has been used so many times, and that was my favorite. Yesterday was a big day for us. We beat Tanzania. At least, I don't know if we AFCON, to lead to win game, to talk AFCON. All right, that was what the web has been up to this week. Of course, Tanzania and Kenya are still trending right now. Get on your socials, start talking. DM us those things. DM us those videos. Our DMs are wide open. Okay, get in there and send us your favorite things. That is where we wrap it up. Mumbi. Pfizer, thanks guys for coming. Oh, thank yeah. you. You guys have a fantastic week. Because Level Up is coming up next on the other side with Roy T-Boy and Willis Raburu. You do not want to miss it. <laughs>